What's up? What's up, my tribe? Come on in, come on in, come on in. Hey, Virgo. How are you guys doing? I'm sending you love, light, positive energy. All right. Thank you guys for your love and support. Hitting that like button for your girl. Thank you for everybody who is sharing our videos. And shout out to all my new members. Y'all, if you didn't subscribe yet, what are you waiting for? If you haven't booked your personal reading yet while they're on sale, baby, what are you waiting for? I know that you've been waiting to get a reading, baby. Now is the time. They went from $6 to $46. Um, $60 to $46. So, baby, hop on and get yours. Get yours while you're getting this good. They are booking fast. I still have some openings for today. I have a few more openings for tomorrow. I have been really, really busy doing you guys' readings. And it's an honor and a pleasure to pour into your lives. I thank you guys for trusting me to be a light on your path. So welcome into your daily message. We're going to start with the angel messages, my love, and see what your angels want to tell you. I've already focused on your energy, meditated a little bit, and then pulled your cards. This is what popped out. So let's go through this really quick before we get the overall energy for today and see what the message is from the divine for you. If you're waiting for your personal reading for today, then don't worry. I'll get right back to them. Um, the waiting time is usually up to 24 hours from the time you book your reading. Sometimes it goes over, but it's a 24-hour minimum. Usually I get it back to you guys the next day. Um, no later than two days usually, unless I have a lot to do like today. Um, but usually it doesn't exceed three days. And if it does, something must have happened. But usually I get it back to you as fast as possible. Most of the time I can get it to you within the 24 hour time range. So go ahead and go for your reading, y'all. It's closer. The number two, mydestiny.com. If you need to use Cash App, it is email me at closer. The number two, mydestiny, the number one at gmail.com. Let's get it. All right, so the first thing that came out is an angel of manifestation. We're starting off with an angel message. I always like to tap in and give you a spiritual message from the divine. God always has a message for you, and he always uses me to give it. Um, and so I always got to tie it into your message. But I'm starting today, happy Sunday, with your angel message. All right, so angel of manifestation is here for you, y'all. It's saying your efforts and determination have paid off. Efforts, determination, and perseverance are paying off. All right, so you guys could have been really waiting for something, being very much steadfast. Okay. She said, is it going to pay off with some cat food? Can you wait your turn, okay? I'm going to get it. All right, y'all. So, <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Sweetie saying hi, and she's like, efforts paying off? I've been patient. All right, so I just got in here. So, anyway, I'm going to feed her in one second. But... Your efforts and determination have paid off and perseverance have paid off. So you have been steadfast. You've been patient. You've been waiting. You've been putting your um, intentions out positively unto the universe. You've been praying for some of you guys and it's paying off. So something good that you've been waiting for is about to happen for you. Hold on, y'all. Let me give sweetie some food. So goddess of oneness is also here. It says someone you love is thinking fondly about you at the moment. So this could be somebody that you have been in a relationship with. Maybe this is somebody who's at a distance from you. Um, this could even be somebody that you have on your mind. This could even be somebody that you think is not thinking about you or doesn't care about you or whatever the case may be. But somebody is thinking about you very fondly. For somebody, it's another earth sign. And somebody is really thinking about you. They want to connect with you. They want to talk with you. But something is keeping them back, okay? Um... I feel like it has something to do with miscommunication or communication. Maybe they're afraid to really open up about how they truly feel or something of that nature. Um, but it's something like that that is causing them to hold back. Um, with the angel of support here for you, Virgo, this is telling you that you are not fighting this battle alone. You know, life is about challenges. One minute you getting over something, next minute, boom, something else happens. And it's, we got to remember as people of faith um, and as people of power, you know, you're very powerful and magical. If you have faith, you can do anything and move any mountain. And as long as we remember that and we really believe, you know, you're going to be challenged because it all grooms you to go to the next level, to pass the next test. And we just got to remember that, that the goal is to operate at your highest frequency and no matter how much we might think that we have arrived i mean we're virgos we could be very analytical we could be very much um 
feeling like we have all the answers and I got to give it to us. Listen, God equipped us well. Okay. We do have a lot of answers and a lot of times we are right about the, the downloads that we get and how we feel and what we're thinking. Um, as long as we're in alignment, not saying being toxic is right or karmic is right. You, you know, the difference, but what, and for those of you who don't watch some more of the videos and start back when I first started or something and just keep on watching. Okay. Pray. All right. Listen, <laughs> you're going to get it. All right. I guarantee you'll start growing. Okay. I keep seeing it happen. Like you grow watching my videos. You definitely do. And that's a blessing. But anyway, I'm saying the universe has heard your silent call for help. So you're not in this alone. All right. I feel like you're going to start coming into resources. I can see that happening where even people, we got to remember to be grateful for the people that God put in our lives to impart in us and remind us of our gifts and to assist us on our journey. That always happens. And I feel like something like that is going to be happening for you this week. You're going to get the help that you've been seeking, something that you asked for, that you've been in expectation for. Somebody is going to come along and assist you with that. Even if it's something simple as giving you a little bit of knowledge about a certain topic or situation. All right. And then we have angel of space clearing. It is time to clear old negative thoughts and feelings. It's safe to let that go. And I know it's so sad. Sometimes we, it's our comfort zone. That's what we know. We know how to hurt and close off and be silent and put a mask on and not let everybody know what's going on and maybe make it look really good. But this energy here that's visiting you right now is reminding you that it is safe to let go. Because when you let go, you grow. You gotta, you have to make space, make room for God to do the things that you ask for to be done in your life. If you close off and you're not open to receive the change, somebody need to type in the comments, I'm open to change. Because if you're not, I receive positive change in my life. If you're not open to change, then you're not going to see growth. You're not going to get to where you're aspiring to be closed off and trying to stay in control of everything. And it's sad, but true. We get used to the trauma. We get used to the pain. We get used to the void. And somebody needs to hear that it's safe to let go. It's time to clear old negative thoughts and feelings. Okay. All right, and I'm sending you my love, okay? I'm sending you a lot of love, light, and positive energy, y'all. If you're going through these challenges and you're finding it hard and you're at your wit's end and you're doing your best to put a good face forward so people won't know what you're going through, it's okay. Breathe. It's okay to ask God for what you need. It's okay to trust that everything is going to be good even though you don't see what's going to happen. That's you having faith. And that's the faith that moves mountains right there. You believe in and you taking steps forward and you don't know where it's leading you to, but you just know that wherever you're going, it's going to be a better situation than what you're in. That's the faith that, that cracks open the heavens. That's the faith that really moves mountains. That's the faith that act, activates the God in you, right? And the universe responds rapidly. So keep going, keep pushing yourself, keep believing, keep being steadfast and don't get weary. All right. How many of y'all know, like when you're in a doctor's office and you start getting impatient, as soon as you stand up to say, I need to find out why they didn't call me yet. And then they call your name. If you just wait a little while longer, you're going to see, okay, you're going to see, you're going to reap everything that you've sown and everything that you feel like got taken away is going to be restored. All right. God is serious about keeping that promise. So underneath the bottom of the deck. Um, the overall energy here for your spiritual portion of your message is goddess of beauty. You're a wondrous being of light. There is nothing to change or fix. Sometimes all we have to do is just have a little more faith, have a little more faith, believe in yourself a little bit more, challenge yourself to be a better version of yourself each and every day. Just push. That's all you got to do. If you put down some of the baggage and release some of the burdens, smile a little bit more instead of frown. You will see the change in your life so drastically. You'll look younger. You'll feel better. You'll get healthier because you don't have all that weight and negativity and strife and worry weighing you down and aging you rapidly. Trust me on that. Sometimes people think it's all this stuff you got to do. Sometimes people just need to be better people and, and try harder, be more positive. That'll take some of the wrinkles off. You don't need surgery for that. Change your mind. Change your actions. You know, change your way of living. A healthier way of living ages. Um, it 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 stops aging, not ages you, 
but it it makes you look younger it makes you feel better just be more positive think more positively about your life okay um that's for somebody and if you resonate with this talk to me in the comments give me a purple heart if you feel me today and if you resonate with this and you're grateful for the message tell god thank you you know he will use whoever to send you the messages that you need it could be a person on the street somebody homeless anybody god will use them to get the message across to you so if you're grateful today and you're thankful for this message and you know that you receive positive change in your life and you're going through things people don't know but you trust in god to do exactly what he said for you and your life then drop your purple hearts in the comments and say i'm open to change i receive positive change in my life i'm equipped to know what to do once those changes occur so i can move forward successfully abundantly all right like <laughs> walk in your power all right y'all so let's go ahead and get into the overall energy of what's surrounding my virgos today what is going on holy spirit holy angels surrounding virgo surrounding energy for my virgos what does virgo need to know at this time not this day all right now this day okay we're getting somewhere holy spirit holy angels ancestors and gods we appreciate your love and spiritual support wisdom guidance and truth Thank you for using me as a vessel when you don't need me, but I appreciate all that you do. I appreciate your divine protection, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, and I thank you so, so much for blessing each and every one of us. I appreciate you blocking and binding all powers of darkness, um, any rulers of iniquity, anybody that is sending negative energy our way, anybody who is casting dark shadows over us or trying to put boundaries in our way. Thank you for moving every mountain. Thank you for binding every spell, breaking every curse, and banishing every negative energy that is standing in the way of the blessings that you have for our life. We claim victory in every situation that we may face. We claim abundance and overflow and healing in our hearts, minds, bodies, souls, and spirits. Amen. Amen. And unity. Amen. All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and see what the overall energy is. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, what's the message? Now, I've seen somebody going through emotional withdrawal. I've seen you pulling away. Um, and I also saw challenges and obstacles and it's okay because we serve a God that helps us move mountains out of our way. We just got the card that confirms that you're not fighting this battle alone. And this message didn't come across your screen for no reason. It's not a coincidence. It's, it's confirmation. All right. It's a declaration that things will get better. See, it came out again, emotional withdrawal, but we have passion ignited. All right. This is something that's not going to last forever. But this is also something that's necessary so you can regroup, so you can really look at the situation at hand, so you can process your feelings and emotions in a safe place. It's okay for you to pull back your energy sometimes and just really look at things and see what areas you need to change in or how you want to move forward. Your feelings matter, right? So sometimes you got to take your time and pull away. Passion ignited. This is you finding what you felt like was just missing. This is you finding love again. This is you having passion and enthusiasm, and enthusiasm about your life and your situation. This is you believing again. This is that spark getting lit. And I thank God if I'm the one who was able to help you light it. Sometimes we just need a reminder, y'all. We just need a reminder to keep going, stay focused, keep pushing and don't give up. Right? You don't got to crash out to find out the answer. Sometimes you just need to be still with this emotional withdrawal and pull away. I feel like somebody keep going against the grain. God keeps telling you to sit down, move back, step back, just wait. And somebody just keep going and doing and pushing and doing. And the devil just having a field day. Dragging you up and down and up and down. And it's not worth it. It's not worth the fight. You, you need to fight from a place of victory. And no, I got the power to pull away at any time I want. I got the power to take a break. I got the power to pause, regroup, and think before I speak and act. I don't got to keep moving and keep doing. No, sometimes you need to take a, a moment. And that's fine. And this is what ignites you. This is what reminds you. This is you remembering how blessed you are. Look at all the purple. Remembering how, how you're the child of a king and how... You have standards and you have been through things and you've had a lot of growth and you have experience. This is you acknowledging that you're stable and secure in your spirit. You're protecting that fire with, is that's within. You're turning your pain 
into your passion. This is what's igniting your fire to help you continue to move on. It's no weakness over here, right? It's no victims over here. This is only overcomers, trendsetters, people who learn from experience and it's people who are elevated, going to the next level, people who are more than conquerors, people who are equipped now. So you got to find a different way to speak to your challenge and your circumstance because it doesn't always have to be bad. You don't always have to let this be the end all be all. This is just a season, a moment that you take in time to get back to this level. All you got to do is take some a break and remember, pull back from everything that's pulling at you and just regroup, reset, remind yourself, right? So with this passion ignited, foundations and achievements, things are going to be happening in your life where at one moment it seems like things are just spinning out of control and then the next minute things are coming together and it's your faith that's bringing things together it's you remembering who you are and all of your capabilities and how powerful you are this is you having faith being reminded all right so with this material and spiritual prosperity this is your faith kicking in. This is you starting to see the results of your prayers, of your affirmations, of your patience, right? Things are happening. Change and breakthrough are coming in. And I feel like this is what you're seeing in your life right now. Harmony. Something very beautiful is going to happen for you. And some of you guys are going to find love this year before the year is out. You don't even expect it, but you earned it. You earned it. You earned an amazing partner, a friend, a lover, somebody who is going to share the rest of your days with you and have your back. Some of y'all really earned that because you've been through hell and back and you've been fighting this great fight of faith and fighting for your, for your freedom of your mind, soul, spirit, right? You've been fighting for your place in the game, okay? By just showing that you can be steadfast, you won't give up, you can be persistent when it comes to it you can pull back when it's time like you've been learning a lot of lessons about patience and letting go of control and just trusting in the divine and you guys are showing right the divine is acting with this harmony with this passion ignited foundations and achievement and material and spiritual prosperity see somebody thought when you took a break and you stepped back that you were done you were out you gave up you're throwing a towel but that was far from the truth you let go and let God you took a break. And even if we're talking about you letting the God in you, I'm talking about the most high God. You let God move in your life. Sometimes we got to release the will so God can take the will. But if you want to see it in a different way and you want to say, I allow the God in me to take control, that's, that's true too. However you want to look at it. Okay, however you want to look at it. It's all connected. It's all connected, right? But whatever the case may be, you made the moves that you needed to make. You took the actions that you needed to take. And you felt this sadness for a little while. You felt the loneliness for a little while and all of that good stuff until you got used to it. All right, somebody said, I'm having the time of my life. I don't have to worry about nobody or answer to nobody. And listen, I, I love that for you, okay? I really, really do. Because after you have been, and I don't know if everybody, it's probably, I don't know how many people that watch me are from big families like me and always having people pulling at your energy from your mother to your youngest sibling to the grandparents to everybody at one moment and like at some point in your life you got to be the center of attention for everybody it's always you first because you're the oldest and this this that that you 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 help them help them help her help them it's just it's a trip and then you got your friends and your social life you got school you got work it is just ongoing just to feel that feeling of you just being able to be still, you and God, or you and your inner child, or you and you, and you're just learning yourself and loving on yourself and being able to sit in silence and peace and really regroup and look at everything. Y'all, you learn to take that as a blessing. After a while, you learn to take that as a blessing and everything else will be added, right? And somebody's really getting that. You're really getting that. And most of all, it teaches you how to choose wisely, make wiser choices, choose how you're going to go through with certain things and how you're going to move through certain things, right? So this is what I see happening. Movement choices and decisions, decisions are here and you're being told to choose wisely. Let's go ahead and set some tarot out on this and see what the tarot wants to tell you. We're going to keep it real light, y'all. I'm very pleased with this reading already, but... To resonate with you, let's um break it down a little bit. But 
Queen Spirit, Holy Angels, what do you want Virgo to know about this emotional withdrawal? Let's talk the emotional withdrawal, y'all. What do you want Virgo to know about this emotional withdrawal? And I pray this reading helps. I pray that it enabled somebody to just find their joy again. Remember who you are and how loved you are. Don't ever think that God left you. He never left your side. You're not fighting this battle alone. No matter what it is, no matter who knows about it, whatever it is, know that you're equipped and know that God got your back. Know that all you got to do is not give up. That's the secret. That's the trick. That's how you win. Shoot, don't give up. Keep moving forward. Sometimes you got to pull back to understand and get that overview of everything. And that's allowed. You don't live your life according to how anybody else do things. You live your life according to how God pours into you and tell you to do things that work for your life. Period. Okay. Passion ignited for Virgo. Knight of Cups. Foundations and achievement. Ten of Cups. Y'all better go ahead, Virgo. Let's go. Material and spiritual prosperity for Virgo. Queen of Swords, standing your ground, not taking no crap from nobody because you learn how to see through the BS. You're using this sort of truth you're welcoming, but you also are very, very wise and very sharp, very knowledgeable, very, very, very much paying attention to everything and intuitive. You know, you're connected. Somebody standing in their ground, being confident and logical. You have great clarity and intellect. You know what to say and you know what to do and it's working for you. Harmony for Virgo. Four of Cups. Somebody feels like they're missing out on love, but it's okay. Somebody feels guarded when it comes to love and meeting a new partner. You're really working on yourself. But God says, I got you. I got you. And you can have options, more than one option, but you're choosing wisely. Show me choose wisely for Virgo. Yeah. Mental conflict, chaos and drama, competition. It's just like, I'm not for it. I'm going to be wise about my decision. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to meditate. And I'm going to wait until the right time to do something here with the seven of cups. Pushing through the illusion, pushing through the confusion. It's a lot of choices, but God is saying, choose wisely. Go after what feeds you the most. Go after what is really meant for you. With this chaos and drama, it's like it could be a problem if you allow it to be. And this is talking about people just arguing and fighting and bickering over how something should be when everybody could work together and just make something work for the greater good. So you got the sun, the knight of cups, and the ten of cups joyfulness after a time of emotional withdrawal prosperity optimism you becoming more optimistic and this passion is ignited all right with this love offer somebody could be bringing you a love offer and you kind of feel guarded toward this person and you're kind of feeling like you're missing out but you feel guarded too you feel wishy-washy like you don't know what you want to do as far as that person so in turn you're focusing on what's really important which is your stability your foundation and achievements somebody says yes it's important that i have a happy family and i do want a significant other but i don't want to compromise what i've been working so hard to build so i'm gonna focus on that i'm gonna continue to be creative I'm going to continue to manifest the love that I truly want because it's somebody that has an offer here and it looks like somebody is you're, you're not really wanting to choose that. You're still thinking about how you want to move forward. You're standing your ground here. You're very confident and you're being logical about the situation. You're, you're using your intellect because material and spiritual prosperity is here. And like I said, you don't want to do anything to compromise. God is really moving in your life, Virgo, and moving on your behalf. And I, you might not always see it, and it might not always feel like it, but it's happening. If you take back, if you step back and take a look and compare your life to two years ago, you'll see progress. Even in your down times and even in the times that's most challenging, you'll still see progress. And that should be enough to make you amped up or excited about your future and what's next. Right, that should make you more enthusiastic and optimistic about things. Um, so let's move down with the Ten of Cups, foundations and achievements, a happy life, emotional wisdom and contentment. Learn how to be grateful for the small things and believing in the big things that are to come is here. Yeah, 
And with the Queen of Swords, the Four of Cups, and the Five of Wands, you're standing your ground when it comes to offers that you feel like are just luring you in or standing your ground and clearing your mind, releasing negative thinking when it comes to feeling like you're let out, left out. You're not. You're no longer wanting to operate in the energy of discontentment because you're starting to feel more satisfied with your life and a greater you're starting to get a greater understanding of why things happen and how everything ties together. You're starting to see that everything is working together for your good, whether it feels good that day or not. You're starting to realize that there is progress, right? And you're doing everything that you can do to stay away from the chaos and the drama and the competition, um, even if it means to put something on hold. You're sacrificing offers and opportunities for the things that really, really belong with you, the things that really suit you. So you're not worrying about saying no to something if it doesn't serve you well, right? And with movement, choices, and decisions, show Virgo. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Ultimate happy, happiness, legacy, and values is what you have in store. This is what you're working so hard toward, and this is what you're going straight to. This is what is in store for you. So, God, <laughs> baby, when I tell you you're not fighting this battle alone, you're not fighting this battle alone. And no matter how much it may seem, if you're looking out of your human eyes, that things are not happening for you. Look out of your spiritual eyes so you can see all the amazing things that God brought you through and all the amazing things that you have in store. Keep the faith. Stay optimistic and stay positive, okay? I love you guys. Thank you guys so, so much for being here with me. And I will see you on the next video, Virgo.